it's Tom Hine with Air Diffusion Systems. I'm out here at the only drinking water reservoir, roughly 5.5 billion gallons in size, average depth of about 25 to 30 foot. We're installing the Air Diffusion Fine Bubble Aeration Disc, LTC model. It delivers approximately a billion bubbles per day and mixes roughly 20 million gallons each. And we're doing 11 discs total. Air Diffusion Systems recently teamed up with the City of Only, Illinois to improve its drinking water treatment operation. The City of Only gets its drinking water from East Fork Lake. East Fork Lake has had problems in the past with high mineral concentrations of both iron and manganese. Currently Only is reliant on potassium permanganate and activated carbon to treat its drinking water. Potassium permanganate is used as a chemical oxidizer to remove minerals while also improving taste odor, and water clarity. ADS Fine Bubble Aeration offers a natural solution to the use of chemicals like potassium permanganate. The goal of this project is to oxidize the water in the reservoir before it is sent to the water treatment plant, thus minimizing the use of the chemicals over the long run. ADS Fine Bubble Aeration works by gently oxygenating and mixing the entire water column. As these microbubbles move toward the surface, they oxidize the iron, manganese, and other minerals found throughout the water column. With an oxygen transfer rate of 3% per foot of water depth, ADS Fine Bubble Aeration will provide a more natural and economical method for treating the water at East Fork Lake. So we're using our anchor system with bricks and uh, milk jugs in order to mark each dislocation for the installation purposes. So when we come out here with our feeder tube and our disc, we'll be able to know where exactly, well, roughly where to go. After the plastic buoys were deployed, 11 ADS disc modules were unpacked and prepped for installation. Four legs were installed on each disc module to keep the discs off the bottom of the lake. With the disc modules assembled and awaiting installation, three quarter inch feeder tubing was loaded onto the John boat. This feeder tubing is responsible for delivering air to each disc module. Each line of feeder connects to a central manifold which receives air from the compressor. One end of the feeder tubing was hoisted up through a hole in the compressor building where it was attached to the manifold. After the feeder was secured to the manifold, the feeder tubing was spun off of the back of the boat by using a large uncoiling reel. Once the feeder tubing ran out, a new spool was attached so that the feeder tubing was long enough to reach the plastic buoy. Two to three inches on either side are cut off to ensure a proper fit of the slip nipple. After the nipple was inserted, stainless steel clamps were used to ensure that there were no leaks. After the clamps were tightened, the next section of feeder tubing was ready to be installed. This process was completed until the feeder tubing reached the intended installation location. Finally, the feeder tube was connected to the aeration disc and secured. The air was turned on at this point, and the disc was carefully lowered down into the reservoir. These basic steps were repeated until all of the aeration discs were properly installed. For more information, visit us on the web, www.airdiffusion.com. I would like to thank the City of Only, Frank Bradley and the Water Treatment Staff at Only, Bruce Smith, August Goulet, and John Hine for making this ADS installation a success.